to another crochet tutorial with Cozy Rosy UK. Today we're learning how to make our very own crocheted bunting so that we can um, celebrate Northamptonshire Day with uh, Radio Northamptonshire. So what we're going to need for our materials is we're going to need a crochet hook. Depending on your yarn size, you'd need different sized hooks. So if you're using an Aran weight yarn like I have, uh, you'll need a five millimeter crochet hook. If you're using a double knit or a DK yarn, you'll need a four millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a tapestry needle or a darning needle and a pair of scissors just to clip off your projects as you go along. So the yarn that I've selected to make this project is I've used um, the Women's Institute Soft and Smooth Aran yarn that you can get from Hobbycraft. I have listed some alternatives um, on the pattern itself um, because I believe it's is currently out of stock, uh, but you may have some in your yarn stash if you're anything like me. So let's get started. So to start this project, we're going to make a slip knot. So you can do that just by bringing your loop over, dropping that working yarn behind and pulling it through the loop and just tightening it there. Pop your slip knot onto your crochet hook and then pull the working yarn to tighten. We're going to start by chaining 22. So yarn over the hook and bring it through to create your chain and do that a total of 22 times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So we're then going to do our first half treble into the third chain from the hook. So this loop doesn't count. So we count down one, two, and three. We're going to yarn over and then insert our hook into the top half of that stitch or that chain that we've made, yarn over, bring that loop up, yarn over to pull through all three loops on our hook to complete that first treble. So yarn over the hook, insert your hook into the next chain, which is just there, not this big loop, but that next one there. Insert the hook, yarn over to bring a loop up, and yarn over to pull through all three loops on your hook. And we just complete a total of 20 half trebles all the way along our chain. So I will meet you at the other end. my first row completed and um, I've counted my V's along the top and I've checked that I've got 20 treb um, half trebles all the way along that chain. So going into row two, this is going to be our first decrease row. So this is where we're going to complete a half treble two together. So to start the row we chain two by bringing our yarn over our hook and just bringing it through the loop on our hook twice and then we're going to turn our work and we're going to work into that first stitch underneath the chain. So not this one, not that one, this first one here. So we yarn over the hook, insert that hook, yarn over to bring a loop up, three loops remaining on our hook, yarn over and pull through those first two loops only. Yarn over and insert the hook into that second stitch, yarn over to bring the next loop up. We should now have four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on our hook. And that's that first decrease completed, taking those two stitches down to one. We're then going to continue across this row, completing a next total of 15 half trebles all the way along.
And then when we have just three stitches remaining and we've completed those 15 half trebles, we're going to do the next decrease into these two stitches so we can finish the row with another half treble into that last stitch. So to half treble two together, we yarn over the hook, insert the hook into that next into the next stitch, yarn over to bring a loop up. We should have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through those first two loops. Yarn over, insert the hook. Yarn over to bring another loop up. We've got those four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on our hook. And then complete that final half treble into that last stitch there. And that completes row two. So we've taken our stitch count down by two. So we've gone down from 20 in row one to 18 in row two. Going into row three, we're going to chain two for our turning chain, turn our work, and then this is the next stitch that we're going to work into. And uh, the whole way across this row, we're just going to half treble into each stitch for a total of 18 times. So I will meet you at the other end of row two, three, sorry, row three. So at the end of row three, you can already see that the sides are starting to decrease in towards that point of a triangle. Going into row four, we're going to chain two and turn our work. And once again, with our even number row, we're going to decrease into those first two, two stitches, doing a half treble two together. So yarn over, bring a loop up, pull through those first two loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and then we've got four loops on our hook we're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on our hook to complete on row four we need to do a following 13 half trebles along and um, before we do the next decrease followed by our final treble in that last stitch so i will meet you back at the next decrease so I've completed those next 13 half treble crochets along that row on row number four. And we're just going to do the next half treble two together, together again. So we've yarned over hook, insert that hook, yarn over to bring the loop up, yarn over, pull through those first two loops on your hook, yarn over and reinsert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over to bring that loop up and then yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Finally, yarn over and half treble into that last stitch there. So yarn over, pull that loop up and pull through all three. There we are, that's our next decrease row completed. We're going into row five, so we chain two and then turn our work. Yarn over the hook and get ready to insert that hook into that first stitch. So row five, we're going to half treble all the way across into each stitch along this row, which will give us a total of 16 half trebles all the way along. So I will meet you for the beginning of row six. So we're at the end of row five. Uh, we've just completed a total of 16 half trebles all the way along uh, row five there. And we're going into row six and as an even number, it's going to be a decrease row again. So we're going to complete a half treble two together into those first two stitches. Um, the row, the pattern de depicts that we're going to be doing 11 half trebles all the way along. And then in these last few stitches, we're going to half treble two together, followed by a treble in the last stitch. So we're going to complete row six together, and then I'm going to leave you all the way up until, I think it's row, goodness, what row number is it? Row number 15. So we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert the hook, pull through all four to complete that half treble two together. We're then going to do another 11 half treble crochets all the way along this row. I've lost count already, that's useful, isn't it? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, oops, seven, eight. 
nine, 10, 11. I just need to bring my yarn closer because it's a little bit tight. There we go. So we've got three stitches remaining. We're going to do a half treble two together into the next two stitches. So yarn over the hook, insert the hook, yarn over to bring that loop up. Yarn over, pull through those next two loops on our hook, or the first two. We've got two remaining. We're gonna yarn over, insert into the next stitch along. Yarn over to bring a loop up so we have four stitches, four loops remaining on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all four. And then finally, in that last stitch, we're going to yarn over, pull through to complete a half treble. So that is the end of row six. So that's another decrease that we've done. So we've now got 14 stitches remaining. So the next row is going to be row seven. Um, and we're just going to half treble all the way along. And we continue in this pattern. So with all the even numbered rows, we're going to be decreasing. Um, and then the odd numbered rows, we're just going to half treble into each stitch along. And we do that all the way along until we reach, oh, it's actually row 16. So I will meet you at row 16. You'll have quite a few, quite a lot less stitches by that point. You'll be all the way down to, wow, I think four stitches or six stitches remaining. So I will see you when you get to row 15. So I'm joining you at the end of row 15. I've just completed half treble. Oh, I'm meeting you at the, oh my God. Just finished uh, row 15. So I've just done six half treble crochets along this row. Going into row 16, which again is a decrease row. We're going to do a half treble, two together. followed by one half treble and then straight into another half treble two together. We're getting quite low on the stitch count here, aren't we? There we are. And then a final treble into that last stitch. Oh, get the other half of it, there we are, into there. A nice quick row, that one. And then we're going to chain two to turn to do row 17 which is just four treble crochets along the row. There we go. That was all. So now that we've finished this part, we're not going to fasten off. We're going to start working all the way around the edge of this project. We've already done a chain one here, but we're going to do our first double crochet just into that stitch we've just completed. So we just insert our hook into the middle part of that final half treble two together. So we just insert our hook, making sure we've got a minimum of two loops from that previous stitch. Just gonna yarn over, bring that loop up, then yarn over and pull through two. We're gonna work the whole way up here. We need around 30 double crochets all the way along. So the idea is, is to try and avoid making big holes. So with this one, we're gonna go in under there so that we've got, we're not creating any big holes as we're doing this. So we've done that one, let's go into there. And we're gonna do this all the way up to the top making sure that we don't create any massive holes because we don't want too much light shining through. We want them to look nice and pretty. And as you can see, it's creating a nice little edging along our bunting for us. So keep working all the way up and I'll meet you in this first corner. It's reached the top of that first side and I've reached that first corner. So with our first corner, what we need to be doing is creating more of a square edge than this kind of slant we've got at the moment. So to do that, we insert the hook, ideally again under the two loops of the row, like that. And we're going to complete two double crochets, a chain one and a further two double crochets to create a lovely corner. So we do one, 
double crochet, two, double crochet, a chain one, and then we're working back into that same spot again, doing another two double crochets. And it kind of turns your work around a bit. So you're now working back along the top and it gives us a nice little corner edge there. So we're now going to be working on the other side of our chain that we originally made at the beginning of the project. So we're just going to insert our hook under the two remaining loops of our chain that we left all the way along to the next corner. Just placing a double crochet into each of those. Sorry, my <laughs> running out of yarn here. There we go. That's a bit better. And it really does give it quite a nice neat edge along our bunting as well. When we join our buntings together, we're going to have the right side, which is the side you can see now, facing outwards so that all these nice chains can be seen or the stitches themselves can be seen when it's flapping about in the wind. Getting close to that next corner. There we go. And you'll see you've, you've met your original tail end as well. So we're going to work that into this corner or work around it. So this is our corner space here. As you can see, there's a potential for it to get quite large. So what we're going to do is work in to that space. We're going to take the tail yarn and hold it against the project, go into the stitch and do two double crochets, another chain one, and then we go back into that same corner space, working over the tail yarn, doing a further two double crochets. And that brings us ready to work down the final edge. You can continue to hold your tail yarn in, it just means you don't have to weave it in at the end because it'll be nice and secure and you can just snip it. So we're gonna go into that next stitch all the way down this side. I find that this side's a little bit trickier to get your hook into nicely so not create those bigger holes. So just double crochet all the way down and I'll meet you at this last stitch here. So I've worked all the way down this edge and the one stitch I have remaining is this one here. Now obviously you want to try and create a bit more of a point to this so what we're going to be doing is we're going to do much like we did with our corner, we're going to do one double crochet, we're going to chain, this time we're going to chain two and we're just going to slip stitch into the first chain that we made. So there's the first one, there's the second. We're going to slip stitch into the second chain that we made, yarn over the hook and just pull it straight through. And then we're going to do another double crochet into that stitch there. And that gives us a nice little point. And then to finish the edging, we're just going to slip stitch into that next the first stitch that we made, yarn over, pull straight through, do a little chain, and then we can snip our wool. We need to do a long enough that we can weave that end in. Okay, we can pull that our hook back through, pull that tightly, and there we have our almost completed, just need to weave that end in flag for our bunting. That's great, isn't it? I've got a nice little point on there too. So let's get this end woven in and then we're all done. So with your darning needle, thread the tail through your needle and we're going to first of all insert our needle through the next stitch and just pull that through and it just kind of hides that knot that we made. I'm not a great fan of knots, but I think in this instance, we want it to be nice and secure. And to weave our end in securely, we're going to go up, down and up. So a total of three times, kind of weaving it through those stitches that we've already made so that we can securely hide this tail end. So that's number one. Go back the other way, just going back through those same stitches. There we go two we're not pulling it tightly we're just tucking these ends in and then the third time and you will never see that end again you can take your needle off 
and with your scissors just snip that tail end Ta-da! if you worked your ending in that top corner you can just snip that off or of course you can weave that end in as well if you want so I've already gone ahead and completed all of my bunting. So this is mine here, all ready to go. And what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you how to chain them all together securely so that it becomes a total of about one meter and 50 centimeters long. So a nice big bit of bunting. So I'll see you in that next video. So what, I'm going, what we're going to do now with our crochet bunting that we have here is I've stacked them up all facing the same way so I can see that I've got my edging showing the right side so it all looks nice and pretty. What we're going to do is we're going to create a chain so that we can join all of these together. Now I've got a total of seven um, flags here. You can do as many as you like or as few as you like um, and I've put them in the order that I want them to be put together in just to make my life a little bit easier. I'm just going to pop them out of the way for now. I've got the colour that I'm going to use to hold the flags together and I'm going to start just by creating a slip knot so that I can pop that onto my hook. We're done with that mustard colour for now aren't we? So just going to tighten that slip knot on there and we start by doing a chain of 30 so that's going to give us the length at each end of our bunting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30. So now that we've done that chain 30, we're going to select the first flag that we're going to be attaching and we're going to make sure that we work right to left so that all the stitches face the same way and we're looking for that first corner or the top corner stitch. So we just insert our hook right in there and what we're going to be doing is we're going to bring the yarn over the hook and bring it back through that stitch so just like a normal double crochet we can just yarn over and pull through both and we're literally going to work along a double crochet into each stitch in the edging until we reach the end of that and that attaches our flags to our chain and it means that they're all going to be facing the same way because you want those nice edges to be showing together so each time we're going to make sure that we work into the right side of the project just keep working along the top of that flag double crocheting the whole way along And then once we've reached the edge, we need to create a space between each of the flags. So that's the last one there. That's good to go. What we're going to then do is another chain 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And you can reach over, grab your next flag, it's already facing the right way up. We just need to find that first corner stitch. Oh, don't let that drop off your hook, it gets a bit heavy. Uh, so we're going to find that first stitch. We're gonna just pop that onto our hook. Find our working yarn. So we yarn over the hook, bring it back through that first stitch. And then yarn over to pull through both those loops. And once again, we just work along the top of that next flag, doing a double crochet into each stitch.
the way along to the next corner. And then once this flag is attached, we do a further 10 chains to create the next space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring the next flag in, double check that it's facing the right way. Find that first stitch you want to put your hook into. Pop that on there. I'm gonna find that working yarn yarn over, bring it back through that stitch, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through, and that secures that one on. And already you can see how lovely that's gonna look when it's finished. So you're gonna crochet all the way along and attach all your flags. And then when you get to the end, you just do another chain 30 so that it's the same length as your starting chain. I'll see you at the end of finishing. Uh, my chain so all of my flags are now attached uh, thank you very much for taking part in the Northamptonshire Day crochet bunting I'd love to see your finished projects as well you can tag me on social media at Cozy Rosie UK uh, either on Instagram or on Facebook I'd love to see um, your flags flying high for Northamptonshire ready for Northamptonshire Day in 2020 or 2021 or dependent on the current situation it's been an absolute pleasure and I hope that this encourages you to keep going and keep crocheting in the future as well and I will see you soon.